at ang verse natin pong verses 2 verses natin pag-uusapan ating devotion na ating devotion for, for today is uh, taken from uh, the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 13 to 14 it says the end of the matter all has been heard fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. Before po natin pag-uusap ng dalawang text, uh, I would just like to give you a, a background kung ano yung Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is, ito po yung sinulat ni King Solomon, kung ano kilala po natin si King Solomon, siya po yung anak ng greatest king ng Israel, ng King David. Si King Solomon is considered the wisest man in the world until now. And even uh, according to mga mga finance people he's considered even the richest man and even kumpara mo sa lahat ng mga mayayaman ngayon kung ang asset daw niya kung dalhin ngayon of ang value is around 2.2 trillion dollars so ganun siya kayaman and uh, he's considered the wisest man in the world and makikita natin sa book ng Ecclesiastes na King Solomon uh, was chasing happiness sa lahat ng aspect ng buhay pumunta siya sa uh, wisdom. He studied of course mga philosopher, kung sino yung mga scholars at that time, maybe he was under them. Uh, wisdom, human wisdom, uh, wine, uh, pleasure, uh, human indulgence. So, so there was nothing there. Wisdom was empty. Human uh, indulgence was empty. And so work sa lahat ng mga ginawa ni King Solomon, he was the one even who built uh, yung uh, temple ng Jerusalem. No? Gusto mo ni David, yung tatay niya, but it was King Solomon who was given by uh, God the privilege to build ng um, temple. So kasama yun. Uh, yung work niya, tapos lahat ng achievement, ng human achievement, yung, yung wealth niya, of course, like I said, 2.2 trillion dollars and uh, mga possessions niya. And not only that, kung balikan natin, alam po natin na si King Solomon, uh, kung puntahan natin yung wine and pleasure na uh, he was chasing after uh, the happiness was chasing after there meron siyang 700 wives he had 700 wives and 300 concubines so around 1000 of them so it's like alam po natin why kahit dumami yung pleasure na he was so wise also it expanded yung kingdom dahil nga uh, he married uh, mga prince mga princesa so as he married yung princesa lumalaki yung kingdom and uh so he has he did it all so he was chasing happiness and he he uh, sa lahat ng aspeto from work wisdom women wine uh, wealth and all and uh ang ito yung conclusion niya sa verse uh, 13 sabi niya dito sa verse 13 the end of the matter all has been heard he heard it all he did it all uh, parang sinabi lang na been there done that no Pero ang conclusion niya is this, Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole purpose of man. This is the whole duty of man. So, fear God. What does it mean to fear God and keep His commandments? Fear God is to respect God, deep reverence for God, honor God, love God, and keep His commandments. Lahat ng commandments niya, which are for our own good, according to the Bible, so Romans 8, 28, it's for our own good. In short, Fearing God and keeping His commandments is living for God, breathing for God, thinking for God, planning for God, what pleases God. So, yun ang dapat ng laman ng utak natin, ng puso natin, what pleases God, yun ang gagawin po natin. So, may kita din natin sa 2 Corinthians 5 na sinabi doon na Jesus Christ died and those who live sa death ni Jesus Christ, which is yung mga, sino yung nabuhay sa death ni Jesus Christ, the born again, yung mga Kristiyano, no? Those who live will no longer live for themselves. To the King Solomon, he lived for himself, self-indulgence, self-wisdom, self-effort and all, self-achievements and all. Ang sabi ng 2 Corinthians, Corinthians na, those who live when Jesus Christ died will no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them. So, fearing God and obeying God's commandments, living for God in totality. So we do what pleases the Lord. So yun ang sinasabi. And ang parang sinabi ni King Solomon dito na he's done it all, pero walang meaning ang buhay 
the only meaning in life the, are the things that you do for the Lord which matters in eternity which is having a relationship with an, an intimate relationship with the Lord kung doon ka may intimate relationship sa Panginoon then you fear God and you keep His commandments as you do it with love not out of duty but with love but not out of responsibility even though it says here it is the whole duty of man but kung wala kang relasyon sa Panginoon if you did not receive the love that comes from Him you can never fear God and follow His commandments because we human beings are without the love of God without the life of God in us we, were de we are dead spiritually so there's nothing we can do anyways so sinabi ng King Solomon how do we compare it uh, what this text is saying and what does it mean to us what does it mean to me it reminds me na yeah busy ako sa trabaho and there are things that I, I value most like my family my job and lalo ngayon sa corona my security my safety and all but this text is saying it's not that yeah those things are important but what is most important in a in a person's life is to have a personal relationship with God and then you fear God you love God and you please God by obeying his commands and then sabi dito for God why because God for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing whether good or evil whether you do good or you do bad lahat ng ginawa mo big or small will be uh brought into judgment now on judgment by is based on works no of course it may be based on works but only the works of christ but not ours because we don't have any righteousness in our works so ang judgment bakit yung works yung 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 good yung deeds natin ang dadalhin dun sa judgment it's because our deeds signify kung what what we have in us if we have eternal life if we have jesus christ in our heart then our, our deeds are the fruit. Kung yan ang makikita, no? it is the result of what you have in your heart. Kahit pasabihin mo, ay ma, napakalakas, uh, sisigaw ka sa buong mundo na you're a Christian, and yet it doesn't show in your deed, there's no deed to support that, now you must just be fooling yourself. So, what this text, our uh, verses are saying, the most important thing is to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And once you have it, once you receive the love that comes from Him, then you fear Him and you obey His commands with love. And the result of that are the good works, which were actually prepared in advance for Ephesians 2.10. So it's all God's. So my question is, have you done it all? Maybe you did. Uh, I've done it all, no? uh, been there, done that. But the question is, do you have a personal relationship with the Lord? Because ang sabi nga ng the wisest man in the world is at the end of the day, we will all die. Sabi na Ecclesiastes, the greatest equalizer is death. Pag-aralan mo, the greatest equalizer is judgment. After death, where will you go? Are you going to hell or are you going to heaven? So, yan po pag-isipan natin mga patid, na there's nothing more important than having a personal relationship with God. If you don't have a personal relationship with God, plead with Him, ask Him to open the eyes of your heart and make you see the beauty of the gospel, what the Lord Jesus Christ did 2,000 years ago and who Jesus Christ is. Pray with me. Father in heaven, we just thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us that there's nothing more important in this world than to have a personal relationship with you. So, Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to continue to work in us. We ask for your Holy Spirit to manifest himself, O oh Lord, through our deeds at Mahikita ng Tao, who we are and what we do. And may our lives be an effective evangelism tool. May our lives be, be used by you as an effective tool to draw Jesus, uh, to draw people to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.